you know, that's essentially that's essentially level 39 there is what that is. So we had 11 more levels to go there. Yeah, there were some there, there were some mistakes along the way. It's okay. You know, this this game is is a bit punishing, you know. It was an arcade game, so it's actually going to have a different type of weed this time. You know, have another blast before we get this next one going here. It's all good though. Thankfully, I'm I'm really enjoying this game. Yeah. So essentially, yeah, yeah. Ran out of time, Money Matt. Money Matt, you know the deal with the time, right? I mean, some folks might not. So essentially, so the exit is advantageous for certain reasons because if I would have escaped with some characters, which I wouldn't have been able to, there, because of the two two dudes who were blocking the exits, anyways. As many characters as we exit, when time runs out, we'll be able to maintain those characters, because they made the exit. But all the other characters, that says left, for example, says left three, those all, they all perish. They're all gone. You don't get them back. But you, but it doesn't end the run. You don't have to use a continue or whatever. Now in round five, you can't use continues anyways, so it gets pretty interesting. Try this without the rewind button? Oh. Wow, that was a really good hit, geez. That would, that would certainly change a lot. And the previous oil that we were using might not be that. I mean, it was, it was pretty inexpensive, so. But this stuff wasn't much more expensive, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look into this brand a little more. Yeah, because that was like night and day. That was completely different. Whoa, dude, I thought that arrow was gonna get us. That can happen. You can get killed after you killed the last enemy. That's happened a few times to us. But yeah, that's part of the challenge money, Matt. When you lose a character, you don't get him back, so... Yeah, when you use the rewind button, you know... Kind of takes away from that. I mean, play however you want. You know, far be it from me or anybody. Don't let anybody tell you how to play how to play your game. You can go out there and enjoy it however you want. You want to hit that rewind button? You go ahead and do that. You know, truth be told, I actually had to do that on stream once. But... It was because the game glitched out. Now... So when I first streamed from, I was brand new to streaming and I was like just breaking into the retro community and I was streaming Comic Zones. And believe it or not, the last boss glitched out and we didn't get a credit roll even though I, I beat the boss. It just kind of soft locked us right after the boss. That's just it. Just kept us on the scene of the boss, which it's not supposed to do. And so I got I got really angry, and so I was I was straight up like, okay, well I guess we got to beat the game all over again. So I, I beat the game all over again. We got all the way to the last boss. I beat him, and the exact same thing happened. He glitched out. We we didn't get a credit roll, and it soft locked us. So I straight up was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the rewind button again. This is when I was streaming directly for my PS4. So I was streaming from the Sega Genesis, Sega Genesis, you know. Sega Genesis collection or whatever, you know the Sega Genesis Mega Drive collection that's on the it's on the PS4 and the Switch and and Xbox and Steam. You know, so I hit the rewind button there, you know, beat the boss again, and then, then we got a credit roll. Now again, my my PS4 unfortunately hasn't worked for a long time now. You know, I'm, I'm currently actually streaming from a from a Genesis 2 here, Genesis Model 2 here. We are using an EverDrive, but yeah, I have a have a scar cable and a retro tank here that we're picking everything up with. 
Yeah, here actually the Barbarian does quite well. Because yeah, the enemies are already close anyways. Yeah, you can just outmaneuver stuff like that. Because the Barbarian's so quick. now. There you go. I just use the rewind button so I can see the final stage. Yeah, I'm curious what the final boss is going to look like. If you know, don't tell me. And if anyone else knows in chat, please don't tell me. Yeah, I, I want to see that for myself. I was surprised we saw a tank. Curious what the final boss is going to look like. Are we actually going to see a dragon or is it going to be something completely different? Yeah, if you know in chat, please don't tell me. Yeah, I would like to find out myself here, spoiler free. Yeah, let's save that ranger there. Yeah, we, we got Chuck Norris here to save. Call the ranger. <laughs> it doesn't really matter who we bring in here. Yeah, definitely bring in the rifleman though. If you want to play it safe here. You just out outrange them big time. Whoa, sounds like you're in raid here. Oh, how's the grind with the raid? What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Thank you so much for the raid, man. How you doing? Darth Vark, welcome in. Cooler, welcome in. You know, how's the grind? Thank you so much for the raid, man. I appreciate it. Welcome in all raiders as well. You'll see a lot of Sega Genesis games, a lot of Super Nintendo games, and also a lot of heavy metal here. It's pretty much what we do. And you're probably no, no stranger to heavy metal if you come from House of the Grind stream here. Everyone, please make sure to go check out Grind there. Awesome retro streamer. Also does some heavy metal as well on his stream. To some to some retro game soundtracks there. Really good stuff over there, so make sure you go check them out, folks. What was on the list tonight, Grind? You doing some Zelda speedruns or you going the, into the doing some cave dives into Lufia 2 or what was on the list tonight? Thanks again, dude. I really appreciate the raid. And once again, welcome to all raiders. Alright. What is going on, Austin82? Welcome in as well. How are you doing tonight? Yeah, thanks again, Grind. I really appreciate it, dude. Doing a redemption. So tonight was the first day of Metroid Rogue Dawn. Nice. What system is that for? I'm not sure I know. Yeah, I'm 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 totally green to Metroid. I know that the original Metroid was on NES and Super Metroid's on Super Nintendo. I remember when Metroid Prime came out because it was it was like an FPS game or something. Today was Monday's Game Redemption. Nice. Oh, it's a ROM hack. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so, so like a fan hack or? <clears throat> All right, let's get back to this here. Yeah, so we, we are playing some Gang Ground here. Yeah, this game is kind of interesting, actually. It's got it's got a lot of unique elements to it. You know, it's like it's like part strategy, but at the same time, whoa, that was that was that was close. There's a lot of action to it as well, where it's almost basically like run and gun. You know, someone said that it reminded them of Smash TV. One person said yesterday it reminded them of Zombies Eat My Neighbors, which was kind of interesting. I suppose the top-down aspect. But you're definitely not, you know, running around a whole level. You know, this is the level you, that you see right here. Yeah, th this part can be pretty difficult. Take out, oh, I'm trying to take out this guy here. There you go.
Cool, nice. Okay, we can take out these guys here. We can get both the recruits from each side here if we do this right. Try to get this guy to throw his sword down that way. There you go. Oh man, I almost messed up there. There you go. Perfect, okay. So we had the bazooka guy first because my gosh, is he powerful. Yeah, I, I, I want to take a look at the manual and and memorize all the names of the actual the, the actual names of the characters here. Yeah, it's an NES game hack of the original. The original Metroid, but it's a whole nother game. Gotcha. Okay. So like like brand new level design and everything. Yeah, we're bringing the rifleman here. So yeah, this is really interesting because we have all these all these different characters throughout the game, and I mean there there are like a baker's dozen amount of different characters throughout the game, and they all are radically different and do different things for you. It's a prequel to the original Metroid NES. Nice. Okay, so somebody somebody fan made a prequel. Is it good? Use the mechanics of the first Metroid, but was way augmented for graphics and design. I see. So are the graphics like enhanced, if you will? Why is the Bazooka guy in the Stone Age? Who knows? So, Nimlex, somebody explained that yesterday. I think it was Cyberblue. They explained so really quick. I'll go to the synapses of this game. Apparently, all these characters are trapped in some sort of war simulation. And they're all meeting because they're all from different eras of time. From different... Yeah, battles, essentially. I think so, House of Grind. So get this right. So get this. So last night was the first official game that I decided to go with this. Somebody requested this game about a month and a half ago or something. It was like right when we started the the Contra 3 challenge. This was a this was a viewer a viewer select for the for the Saturday viewer select. And I really liked it, so you know. I wanted to go to this game immediately after we took down the Contra 3 challenge. So this is technically the second day with it, or sorry, technically a third day with it rather, but officially the second day with it by my choice. And we made it pretty far yesterday. We made it into, so there are five rounds and it looks like 10, 10 stages in each round. And yesterday we made it to 5-5. Five, five. And what was what was interesting is that we made it all the way up to 5-5 five, five without having to use the continue. And then when we lost all of our characters or time ran out, I can't remember which one came first. It didn't let us continue. It just deactivates the continues. So once you get to round 5, continues just no longer matter. You have to start the game over. The graphics on Road Dawn are still NES graphics, but it has a very cool look with to the environment so far. Like, are the are the graphics enhanced, or are they are they are, are they just totally? Like I said, did this fan, you know, bring the. Oh my gosh, that was too close. <laughs> oh, I thought we were gonna lose our character there. Yeah, because again, his secondary weapon is not great, dude. It doesn't have any distance. It's slow. Like, you can only shoot one shot at a time like that, at, at that speed. Granted, it's better than nothing. But yeah, this character's main weapon here, dude, he can only shoot it upwards, but holy crap is it. It's one of the most powerful weapons in the whole game, dude. Apparently this guy is called Mud Puppy. <laughs> That's what someone in chat said. Okay, let's try to get up there and get ourselves the recruit here. Next, we want to get as many recruits as possible, dude. Right, let's just bring in the archer to finish the job here. I'm not sure if they're enhanced it's, since it's still NES graphics, but it looks cool. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I know that when, like, for example, the Contra Anniversary Series and the Castlevania Anniversary Series, 
that they enhanced the graphics to look better on HD, if that makes sense. They didn't, they didn't exactly change the graphics. Like it's still, you know, the same graphics relative to whichever system, you know, you're playing on, you know, whether you're playing, you know, Contra 3 on Super Nintendo or Contra Hardcore on Genesis, you know, it's still those graphics, but they changed, they, they made it so that, you know, like the colors and everything would, would, would look better on HD televisions and, and computer screens. <clears throat> so it looks a little bit different. So if you look at the, at the Contra Anniversary series and some of those games, and then you look at the originals on the original hardware, you'll actually notice some color scheme differences. They'll be, they'll be, they will be there. You know, there'll be some that are slightly darker, slightly brighter. And I, I noticed that with Contra Hardcore, for example, because the first time I played Contra Hardcore was on the PS4, was on the Contra Anniversary series. But then when I saw it on the Genesis, it, it looked actually a little bit different. Not, not by much. Like I said, it's really only a matter of like the color schemes and stuff. But again, from what I understand is they did that just to kind of make some of the colors and stuff look better on the, on the, on HD televisions, like almost like a, a matter of like upscalings, I guess. Yeah, I'm probably doing a bad example of explaining this, but yeah, actually this guy does really well here. Yeah, so this is one of the, he, he's almost like a, he's almost like a battle, almost like a battle mage or something. Yeah, there are a few different ones throughout the game. There's one that's like a samurai. There's one who I call the Dragon Knight, who basically has a, a fire shield to pair with his, his fireballs here ability. This guy essentially, he, he throws, he throws some standing fire on the ground, so if an enemy runs into it... You know, they get hit by it. It's pretty awesome. Let's try to draw this guy's fire out. Here we go. Nice. Okay. Oh no! I, I, I did not expect- Okay, so if you destroy all the statues, that's what happens. Okay. I was expecting, okay, I'm not sure why I was expecting it to wait for us to destroy the archer guy too. Yeah, that was a bad expectation. Ooh, that was close. But yeah, it, it almost kind of reminds me in some ways also of Gauntlet, I guess, somewhat. Yeah, like I said, it's got a it's got a lot of a lot of interesting things going on here. Yeah, let's choose one of the riflemen here. Okay, the riflemen do exceedingly well on this stage. to basically straight at this guy like this. There you go. We should be able to take this guy out like that and this guy out like that. There you go. Yeah, it's unfortunate our, our previous run ended like it did, but sometimes it just happens. Round four is tough, dude. And you have four, eight and four, nine are pretty tough levels. Let's go ahead and escape with our recruit here. I, what did somebody say? Someone said his name is Robbie. I think someone said. Let's go ahead and bring out the other rifleman here. This guy almost kind of looks like you, House of Grind. Doesn't have quite as cool of a haircut, but if you change your hair a little bit, actually, you know, and shave, you, you might actually kind of look like that guy.
So the plot is a mix between Time Cop and The Matrix. Got it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. He does? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> In some ways, I'm like, I'm like half joking, so. I wish they would have kept the new Contra as the original that they made. What, 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 you're talking about the, what's the, what is it called? Operation Galuga? I, I noticed the colors of RBG out and the Genesis looks very saturated. Maybe that's one factor. Maybe. Maybe. But yeah, I noticed, I noticed also that, for example, if I... It first, it first happened, I, I first noticed it especially with Eliminate Down. You know, because after, after, oh gosh, look out. After we beat El Eliminate Down, I tried playing it on, on one of my CRTs. And I immediately noticed how different it looked. It was kind of startling. Just like, wait a minute, this is how it's supposed to look? Okay, this is a little bit weird. Like, even, even just in the intro screen. So, like, to a, cer to a certain extent, you, you, can, you can see some interesting differences when you play a game on a CRT as, com as compared to it being upscaled on an HD TV. Because it wasn't meant to be seen on an HD TV. That's not how the games were designed. Right, the games are optimized to be seen on a CRT TV. And I've noticed especially that shoot 'em ups look a lot better on CRT TVs, but it makes sense because they were designed to be on the CRT TV, so it's not it's not even anything that's, you know like really, really anybody could understand it. And I think especially anybody who's like gotten deep enough into a shoot 'em up, they could they could definitely understand it. Because one thing I noticed too is that the projectiles I had a bit, I had an easier time seeing some of them. But also, you know, naturally when you, you know, when you upscale something and you capture it and then, you know, you stream it and all that stuff there, there's a lot of factors right there. So naturally there's going to be just a little bit of, you know, some sort of like input lag, right? And I actually first noticed that on Contra Hardcore, because when I would stream directly for my PS4, there was basically no input lag at all. But it didn't obviously look as good, and PS4 doesn't have nearly as many options, so it's disadvantageous for all the other reasons. But I noticed that the first time I played Contra Hardcore on OBS, it was a little bit different. It's like, oh wait a minute, I have to react a little bit differently. Okay, because there's just an extremely... It's so small, dude, like unless you play a game like Contra Hardcore or Contra 3 or something like that, you're just not going to notice. Play a game like Sonic the Hedgehog or something like that, you're probably not going to notice. Let's say like a Mario game, you're probably not going to notice. You know, it just, you know, those games go at a good speed, you know, to where you just won't. <clears throat> I hope he puts in good efforts for you then, yeah. <laughs> he does, he, he does have to, has to grind. The Rifleman actually, the Rifleman both actually do pretty good. I'm going to use the Rifleman in this stage right here. These guys shouldn't have armor in this level? What do you mean? I've seen on YouTube some people put the video games in 4K. But yeah, differences in yeah between CRT and HD. Now some of them do they don't they they don't really look that that, that much different. You know, you, you can play on a CRT or sorry, you can play on HD TV and you know you're not gonna really notice. Like I think like Sonic 1, for example, that'd be a good one. Because Sonic 1 is is a good looking game, but it's not a game that I think has, you know, I, I, how should I say this? Dynamic graphics, I guess, compared to, I don't know, something like... What's one? What's a game that, that just has... What, what was that one game that we played? I'm trying the name is the name is slipping me here something X yeah I'm gonna kick myself for not remembering it it wasn't in sector X that's a different game it's gonna it's gonna come to me here in a second if somebody somebody requested I end up loving it dude and dude the graphics on this game were just 
absolutely mind blowing. I mean, Adventures of Batman and Robin, that's a good one. Adventures of Batman and Robin, the graphics are just ridiculously beautiful, dude. The magic they made with that game was just unbelievable. So yeah, like the way that that game looks, you know, you're definitely gonna notice the difference just because it's just so up there. No, 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 not Comic Zones. No, no, something X. It wasn't in Sector X though. Oh man, what was it? Dang it, I'm gonna kick myself for not remembering it. Such a good game too. I was able to beat it in the first night though. That somebody requested it. Not taking anything away from the game though, it was just so good. It'll come to me. I'm just, I, man, drawing a blank on it. Don't, don't remember what the... The first name of the game was. Okay, well, anyways, let's go ahead and destroy these sea monsters here. They're hidden in the moat. Ooh, easy, almost walked right into that projectile there. There's gonna be a whole bunch of these dudes coming down the middle here. Just take them out one by one. Yeah, the demolitionist is really good here, dude. Okay, let's go and grab the ranger here. Yeah, Adventures of Batman Robin. I've heard mixed opinions on that game, which is fine. You know, nobody has to like <clears throat> any game. You know, I've I've cheered that game on, and I've heard somebody downplay that game, and I'm like, yeah, you know, like I'm not gonna sit here and you know get offended by that because I don't. I don't get offended by other people's tastes. You know, that's 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 other people's that that that's like that's other people's predilections. You know. You know, if you're if you have like two beer snobs, you know, they get together. You know, it wouldn't make any sense, you know, if one of them's just gonna judge the other person's taste, like why even get together? You know, just drink by yourself if that's the case, right? Ranger X, thank you. Cyber Blue, thank you. Ranger X, dude, that game is unbelievable, dude. And yeah, Adventures of Batman and Robin is indeed a tough game. Certainly, certainly. One of the best soundtracks on the Genesis, though. Jesper Kide. Same guy did Subterranea. Also, same dude who did... What is that game called? It's not... It's not... I don't think it's called Red Zone. Oh, man. Somebody requested that game, and it was a nightmare. The game was so difficult. It might have been Red Zone, actually. Yeah, I'm 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 legitimately scared of that game when when we actually have to go and play that. That game was brutal. Oh, I didn't mean to Oh, okay, this is going to be interesting. Rifleman. Rifleman's the answer here then. That was a funny mistake. It's gonna be difficult here actually taking out the... Maybe it won't be, we'll see. Cause actually this guy can shoot from the sides, right? Yes, this guy was the right choice. 100% was the right choice. Since so I messed up and accidentally put the archer through the exit. Let's bring up the Barbarian next. Because they are just so fast. Yeah, Ranger X, dude, is another game, like I said. If you go just and play just play the first level of that game. And check out the background. It's unbelievable, dude. So games like that, when you have dynamic backgrounds that are so profound. Some like. Eliminate down, that's another one. First level, go check out the first level. On a CRT, I, I wasn't really sure why this was at first. I think I kind of have it figured out though. 
because those things are straight up tubes and those things take up space, right? So the entire tube, you know, is, is a space for the image to be projected in, right? Whereas you have, you know, on an HD flat screen TV is only what, you know, half an inch thick? You know, some of the old school ones are like an inch thick, something like that. And you have those CRT TVs, you know, and they're what, you know, a foot and a half thick? Something like that, depending on how big the TV is, maybe more. And so I, I first noticed, especially on space levels, like levels where there were, where you were in space, that it, it looked like, it looked like there was actually space there. Like, I, I don't know how better to describe it. Like, it looks like you were like actually seeing space. Like there was space between the stars that were on the images. And so what I figured out was that I think the reason why it looks like that is because there is, the, the image is projected throughout the whole tube. It's not just projected, you know, in the front of the tube or in the back of the tube or in the middle of the tube. Like the image that you're seeing is the entire TV. It's the entire CRT TV, that, that whole tube that's in there. So I think that's why, especially on something like a, a space level, it actually looks like there's space there. Like, and, and, and it was crazy, it was, it was mind blowing to me at first and I didn't understand why, why I was seeing, seeing it the way I did. But then over time, you know, I, I sort of realized that, you know, one, it was because obviously that was the, that was the way that the games were optimized to be seen. But also, like I said, you know, I think it's the equipment that's being used itself too. You know, it's almost like playing playing games on your TV, like your HD TV now, and playing games like on in an actual arcade cab. And how you see, like you can actually see the differences. You know, you'll you'll immediately notice that there are differences there. It'll look different to you. You'll you might even do like a little double take. You're like, wait a minute, kind of looks a little different, because it is. Yeah, you're actually seeing where it looks different. Yeah, playing within OBS, from my experience, has... You, okay, this is what Adam tuned in said. Has slight light, but the upscaler and the double liner from the RetroTink 5X. Yeah, I've heard the 5X helps helps with that a little bit. See, I'm using the... I'm using the SCART 2X, because it was much more... It was much closer to my... To my budget, but apparently these things aren't, aren't available right now, from what someone told me. A modern LPS LED display does have a tiny amount of input lag compared with the CRT to zero. Exactly. Exactly. On the CRT, if you play on the CRT, you're not going to see any of that at all. So I can actually understand why some people play through a CRT and then find a way to capture that. Because, yeah, with certain games, that's actually going to help out a lot, dude. Like I said, something like Contra or something where really just any microsecond counts. That's going to come into play, dude. Mike Tyson's punch out. That'd be a big one. I remember seeing one streamer. He was going through Mike Tyson's punch out for a little bit. And then he went and tried it on his, on his sibling CRT setup. And he was able to beat it. It was just because that really small amount of, of input lag was messing him up on the Tyson fight. You know, that's one of those games. That's a perfect game, you know, to have for that example. You know, where, you know, having a setup like that is really going to help. You know, maybe that was one reason why I was having so much trouble with Eliminate Down. It was because of my, because of my hardware setup. You know, maybe like just that small amount of input lag was enough to throw me off. You know, because I'm, I'm certainly not good at shoot 'em ups that game really kind of sort of shaped any small skills that I have in shoot 'em ups at all, I would say. But it definitely shaped my interest in shoot 'em ups, which which is pretty great now. I, w I will say that. I didn't really have a big interest in shoot 'em ups before I played through that game. Now I do. Yeah, I actually really like shoot 'em ups. Something I kind of like to play in my in my spare time. Okay, let's go ahead and escape with the recruit here. Let's bring one of the barbarians here. They do pretty good against the slimes. And they, they don't do shabby against the magicians either. 
Because again, they just have so much speed. Yeah, the jelly's here. Would you please pass the jelly? <laughs> Would you please pass the jelly? Pass the planner all fruit. Don't you dare call it jelly. Bedtime, no worries, house of grind. Thanks again for the raid, dude. I appreciate that. Get some rest, dude. Yeah, hope you have yourself a good tomorrow. Yeah, sleep's important there, so make sure you get that. You find 2D games on retro emulators can't really improve the look of the game. I, I don't think it's really about improving it as so much as, you know, it's just a matter of convenience. You know, dude, like getting a CRT right now, yeah, it's one, you know, space, space is a problem, you know, for some folks, and two, it's just, man, like getting a CRT is in some areas, dude, kind of pain. Some areas, not. Like, I, I've, I've talked to people who are like, dude, like, all you have to do is just, you know, wait a few months and you're going to see one, like, on the side of the road. Like, it happens all the time. I'm like, really? For you guys? Like, that doesn't happen here at all. And I, I think that's because, you know, space is, you know, more of an issue here. Apartments are a little bit smaller here, so I think that when the... When the HD boom happened, I think that more people here than usual switched from CRTs quicker. You know, mainly just for spatial purposes, so... Not really for anything else, just to create more space. So they could just hang the HDTV on the wall or whatever, right? And just have that extra space in their apartment. I think that was kind of, like, why. Like, it was... Dude, it was, it, it took me, like, no joke, like, a little over a year to find a CRT, like, a working CRT here, for a fair price, that is. That didn't have, I don't know, dude, they're, they're, like, there, there, there are people that are like, oh, just go, go check out Facebook Marketplace, that's your problem. You're just looking on Craigslist. That's not, Craigslist isn't gonna work. And so, you know, I checked out Facebook Marketplace, and no joke, I found somebody, some dude was selling a 13-inch... I can't remember what it was. It was like a 13 inch Toshiba CRT that was working, but the volume buttons were broken and he didn't actually show where the volume button, where like where the volume level was at. Just the, like there was like one broken volume button. So I was like, wait a minute. Okay, so if the volume's at 99 and I can't turn it down, that's a problem. Or if the volume's at one and I can't turn it up, that's a problem. You know, the dude was no joke, like, selling it for almost $200. And I'm just like, dude, like, it's broken, dude. <laughs> like, the thing is broken. Like, the, the volume buttons don't work, and you're selling it like it's, like a, like, a good condition, like, working CRT. And that was, like, all that was available for a while. Are the green things ghosts? Which one, that we were just fighting? Uh, I actually don't know. I would have to look again. I don't think so. Most of these are like different, essentially it's, essentially Noodles, the, the whole story here is that all these characters are in a, in a war simulation that's essentially just like glitching out and gone wrong. And they're like all from different battles in time. So like naturally like this guy's from the future, right? And you can just kind of tell he's got that like cyberpunk kind of look to him. He's got a bazooka that, that shoots a flamethrower. I don't think that they were ghosts, but I would have to double check the... The enemies that... Oh my gosh, that we were just fighting there. Okay, well... This is one of the only levels where you can actually save... Or one of the only bosses where you can actually save the heroes you lost. So thankfully, we have another one of these guys. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of what the green enemy was that, that we were fighting there. So, so, so that I could better answer your question, because I'm not really doing a good job of that. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Yeah, and some of the enemies, too, I, I look at them and I'm not really sure what they are. Some of them, you know, are obvious, like the ones up here to the top right of the boss here are obviously knights. These dudes right here are obviously some sort of, like, fire magician. 
Like some of them, some of them are obvious. But then yeah, some of them I can't really tell. And I thought of maybe going to look at the arcade one to sort that out a little bit to kind of see what, exactly what these. Oh, we're running out of time actually. Yeah. Oh, almost forgot there. Too much. Too much yammering. Too much. Too much talking. There you go. Uh, we we got a boss to take out here. So there are two ma magicians, okay, hidden here. Got one. Alright. Let's get Baju Bazooka Joe and Bazooka Joe out of here. Okay, we probably actually should bring in an archer here. This is gonna get close. This is bad. This is kind of bad. Okay. Whew, okay. We can make it. Thank goodness. Whew, 11 seconds to spare. That would have been really bad. That's right, you're shooting arrows and dudes with guns, yeah, and cars driving by, yeah, exactly. It's really confusing, right, Noodles? Yeah, I was confused at first, too. Then last night, somebody explained that to me. Somebody explained the synapsis a little bit. What's going on with Spoon on your bed? How you doing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The dude shooting fireballs, yeah, they're, they're definitely a wizard. Oh, is that what you... Oh, are, are, are those what you were talking about with the ghosts? I mean, I suppose they could be ghosts. I actually don't know. So they could be ghosts, you know, shooting fire. Yeah, I think they're supposed to be fire wizards, though. Some sort of like necromancer or fire wizard, something like that. Ooh, careful. There you go. Oh my gosh, I almost just walked right into that scarab. Nice. go ahead and escape here. Okay, so we have another one of those guys. We should bring him out. Nice. All right, where's the other worm? There he is. Nice. Yeah, Bazooka Joe does really good against those guys. Doing okay there? Nice. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. It's going good here, too. Yeah, we're checking out some more game ground here tonight. Let's see here. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Let's get, let's get Bazooka Joe online here again. Careful. Try to take out some of these worms here. Okay, I, th I think we got one there. Got another one there. Cool, cool. There you go. I want to try to get that recruit there. Nice. Oh wait, do we not get that guy? Hmm. Okay, maybe we did. There you go, okay. All right, let's go ahead and take Bazooka Joe out of here. Let's grab that recruit there, though. All right, and then let's bring in a rifleman. And we 
can just outrange this guy. Thanks for the GG there. It's an interesting puzzler. Yeah, this is a really interesting game. Like I said, you know, it's kind of a combination of like a strategy game. It's definitely got some sort of like weird puzzle mechanics to it. But at the same time, you know, it's almost like a running gun game too. It's a lot of action involved as well. Yeah, some people were comparing it to like I said, the zombies ain't my neighbors, and what was the other one someone said? Nice. Probably notice we're running on a monitor, flat panel, each frame pixels change all together, changing the whole picture of the frame on CRT. Starting at the top, a line of pixels will change and then shift down the next line, line by line. It starts over again at the top. Interesting, okay. Hmm. No, I, I did not actually know that. Yeah, I'm definitely no, definitely no expert when it comes to electronics. Like I said, I just, I just happened to notice, you know, especially when, you know, when we were, you know, playing through Eliminate Down, you know, we, we play that game for 21 sittings, right, to be to beat it, so. You know, that one, it was it was clear as day when I loaded up on a CRT how much different it looked. Because I had seen it, you know, upscaled, you know, in, in HD for, you know, so many times. Let's grab their crude here. Bring out another one of the archers here. Nice. We're still checking along here. Okay, once again, want to bring out the yeah one of the Viking archers here. Now, these guys do really well here. Oh gosh, okay, okay, it's all good. We got another one. Made a little bit of a mistake there. It's okay. There's the other hidden guy. He's waiting for those guys. Yeah, there are hidden enemies. Like I said, the enemy count there is actually pretty important. Because you might see a certain amount of enemies on the screen, but it might say an, a different amount of enemies on the screen. And when you see that, that means there are some that are hidden. So sometimes those enemies don't appear until oh no i didn't I, I didn't run through the exit there so we lost that archer it's okay i did mess up there though so i didn't run to the exit there with him now you have to do that okay i was a little bit blanked out a little bit on that one yeah that's actually the second time tonight too i've done that so on different runs Thankfully, it wasn't on the same run. But yeah, the archer is especially a, a key character, too, so... That's a bit of a heavy loss there, but... Like I said, you know, we're not going to dwell on too much. Gotta keep moving forward. Just missed him there. There you go. Subjective experience on a CRT. It's actually amazing the experience. CRT is live for you after so many years. Last few monitors would have fixed the delay by now. It's not. It's, it's not awful. Like I said, it's not something that can't be adjusted to. But like I said, you know, if you play enough Contra Hardcore, for example, you you will notice like, like a game that's fast paced enough like that. You know, notice that there's a little bit of a like delay on your reactions and stuff. But again, you know, it can definitely be adjusted to. Can 100% be adjusted to. No, 
There was some crazy challenges in some of the Contra games, and it's definitely upscaled when we did so. Because I am I'm not currently playing on CRT right now. I wish I had a setup like that, but unfortunately I don't. Let's go ahead and grab the Ranger here. Let's go ahead and grab old Chuck Norris here. Yeah, I had the right idea of bringing that archer out to save that other archer, but I didn't I didn't exit when we only had one enemy left. That's what I meant to do. Because if you don't bring in the, the allies you mean to save into the exits, you don't actually save them. Even if you pick them up. It's kind of kind of interesting, actually. You have to be careful about that. Like I said, something to be mindful of. It is an arcade... It, well, it was. It, it was an arcade game, so... Makes sense that it's going to have some difficulty to it and some punishment to it. And these games were designed after all, you know, to... You, know, you put some more quarters in, so... You know, although this is the console version, you know, some of the same principles apply. It really comes down to it. It's really interesting that they don't let you even use the continues that are implemented into the game on the fifth round. That's really brutal. I'm not upset about it though. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Yeah, probably another one of the archers here. Ooh, crud, I messed up there, okay. We have to be careful here. You see these, all these guys out here to the left. You see, got these guys over here. At least the front two, that is. There you go. Didn't quite get that guy. There you go, okay. Let's go and grab this recruit here. There you go. Who should we grab this time? Yeah, I suppose the Rifleman will do good here. Should be able to outrange him. Okay, so we should probably bring out the... Yeah, one of the Bazooka Joe guys here. Careful. Hmm. We should be safe down there. Maybe hit this guy because he's closer. Nice. Okay. It's gonna be tough taking either of these dudes out here. You can do it though. Yeah, but then those guys throwing bombs there. He can't take out those dudes that are elevated up there. That's the problem. That is the problem with those guys. And again, you know, when you lose, when you lose a character like that in a level like this, you cannot recover him. There's no exit. So even if you pick him up, unfortunately it's not going to do anything. Alright, getting back to, to round four though. Painful? No, not really. No, spoon, spoon under the bed. That's, I, I expected that. I've been running the rounds just like that. Just with the expectation of losing that guy there. 
Yeah, I, I want to try to keep the submachine gun guys for the boss that is going to be the end of this round here. Yeah, this guy, this rifleman does extremely well on this level. We I mean, use him correctly. Awesome. Got like two and a half minutes to go there too. Right, so yeah, definitely bring out one of the longbowmen here. Out. Ooh, that was close. Okay. It's real. Ooh, wait. Oh, okay. I thought there was going to be one more. Okay. I thought there was going to be one more coming to the right there. He must have already showed up. All right. I was tripping out there, alright. I was tripping out there. Do you notice how some of the characters are either left or right handed? I did actually notice that, yes. It has its advantages in some places. I, like, there are certain corners and turns where can't exactly shoot a, shoot, shoot a guy one way or the other because he, he has the rifle in the other hand or the handgun in the other hand. Yeah, I mainly noticed that on, on round four, stage eight. Yeah, so games like Sunset Riders help me notice stuff like that. Or Contra Hardcore, that's another one too. You can actually see like height differences or the way characters are holding guns differently and that actually directly affects certain things. Oh, crud. Okay, that can be a bit of a problem there. Oh my gosh. Should have moved a little bit there to the left. It's okay. Make a quick decision here. So you have to choose the archer. Choose an archer to save an archer here. Makes sure I lost one. Realistically, we need both for 4 8. Let's go ahead and run them out here. Grab all these recruits here, too, while we are at it. guy with yeah I mean either one of the riflemen would do here I think we can actually get him from here yep thought so yo JP what's going on dude how you doing it's going pretty good tonight dude we made a little bit a little bit more progress than where we were at yesterday yeah how you doing tonight dude definitely going right yeah we can totally do blast here let's take a pause here real quick Yeah, who didn't get over there, dude? Yeah, it's gonna go over here as well.
Or I said as well, but you didn't respond quite yet. It's not my fault. We've already been blast processing, so. All right. Yeah, this is our third attempt, I think, at this one here tonight. Yeah, it's a really interesting game, dude. It gets pretty dang tough there at the end. Okay, who do we want to... Okay, either one of the archers will probably work here. I just don't want to lose them. Should be able to get all these guys. Yeah, we want to try to keep one of those guys alive. I suppose just that one since he's more difficult to hit. Okay, let's just wait. Okay, just in case we lose the archer here. It is possible the archer will fall from one to one of these guys. Nice. So the archer take them all out. There you go. No, never heard of this one. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really hear this one until until several years back myself, like a handful of years back, like five years back or something like that. Yeah, we do actually want to use this archer. Yeah, we don't want to lose this guy, but at the same time. He's the, he is the answer for some of this level's difficulties. Okay, we're gonna have some secret enemies there. There's gonna be another one after we kill this guy too. And there, there are two more actually, they're gonna be to the right here. So you take out the two guys that are closest to the right side of the level there. Yeah, there's the other one. Take out one of those guys. There you go. All right, let's go. Let's go rescue the ranger over there. We are getting right down to it. We're getting down to it, folks, here. Four, six. We can easily take this guy out here. Let's get the dude out from Mars. There you go. Cub Bluey. Easily take that guy out. But yeah, this was an arcade game originally, JP. Apparently it was a three-player arcade game originally, which is pretty wild. Which I don't know which guy to be here exactly. Crud, okay. Maybe the Barbarian for speed? <sighs> no, 
not sure we can get those guys. Definitely can get those guys. Wonder if we can get these guys at an angle. Oh, he can only shoot. Okay. Yeah, probably not then. Probably doesn't go quite high enough. Okay, lure the enemies out. Nice. Wow, the barbarians actually do a really good job of luring these guys out. Okay. Yeah, they're just so fast, dude. I mean... Okay, let's just wait. Let's go... Go get our riflemen. We have we have time. We have a minute. Got a minute to spare here. There you go. Okay. Let's go get the other riflemen here. It's gonna take him a moment to get up there, but he'll he'll, he'll get up there in time. He'll just be able to outrange this guy. Yeah, this, this level. This level's tough, but yeah, the... You have your archers. They just make it so easy. See that explosive there. Careful now. Nice. Dude made short work of that level. Almost had two and a half minutes there to spare. I'm just imagining the guys in the cars being like, why are these guys, yeah, lar yeah. <laughs> oh, that that's actually pretty hilarious there, spinning in your bed. I'm wondering about hard mode. Should we just default there? Yeah, like why are these guys, why are these guys cosplaying out here? <laughs> like these guys need to have their Dungeons and Dragons meeting somewhere else. Like, like we're, we're trying to drive here. No, we're rehearsing. We just don't have a place for it. We have to do it out here. Okay, careful now. Yeah, let's get all the way over here. The okay, last time we actually lost this character pretty early in this in this stage. It was bad. that character who's in the top right there. Essentially we're going to take out all of the enemies up here. Go on, go on, go on. We got about two minutes here.
Let's wait for that guy's explosives there. Yeah, we want to get our recruits here. I think this level is where the last run ended. We, we ran out of time, but again, when you run out of time, that's one of the worst things that could happen. Let's get one of the riflemen here. Oops, do we pass him? Yeah, here we go. Either one, either one. Yeah, we have a minute here, it'll be fine. I'm wondering if in hard mode this should just be the default mode. Well, it probably is in in the arcade one, right? Is that how it is in the arcade? Do you get all the characters? And if you just lose them, that's it? That seems like that's the way it should be. Let's start off with the riflemen. So we can outrange these guys. Crud, okay. Do we have another one of those guys? We do. I just have two of the samurai guys. She's one of them. how much damage this is going to do. Fire will do damage to him, though. Crud. Okay, it's all good. I want to hold on to at least one of those guys. But yeah, let's get the submachine gun guys. Where are the submachine gun guys? Yeah, the I wanted them for this fight. Here we go. Exactly what I wanted this guy. Look how much damage I just did. Yeah, dude, exactly. I, I figured that was gonna be the case. The submachine gun guys were gonna work wonders against that boss. In, in the arcade you start with three and recruit. Oh interesting, okay. So I was wrong. All right, here we go. Sign ring and Robocop. Time to bring Robocop to do, to, to do his work. Oh no, okay. Jeez, okay. Well, we might be able to save him. Yeah, Bazooka Joe does pretty well in this level. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's just exit now. This way we don't lose Robocop. We'll just come back and destroy that enemy there. There you go. That way we haven't lost any anybody there. This is yeah, just bring out one of the battle mages, dude. He'll do fine against that guy. There you go. Alright, so we didn't lose a Robocop there, so we're good. We're good. You're not. Definitely want to use Robocop, Robocop here again. 
We have three of them. I think three Robocops here. Yeah, three. Okay. Watch our footing here. The projectiles can indeed hit us. Or there's not really a safe spot. Ooh, careful. Maybe we can just back up and I like guarantee that they can't hit us. Nice. Nice, there you go. Dude, Robocop is just so good in these levels. That's why I like to hold on to those. Yeah, shotgunning rockets. Only, only Robocop would. Right, same thing. Thank goodness we get a moment of iframes there. <sighs> Too close there. There you go. Nice, okay. Yeah, we can definitely get these guys. You know that for sure. Whoa, careful there. Nice. So we want to stand, where was it? Right about here? Did you get that guy? Not quite. There you go. Awesome. All right, we're cruising through these, 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 these round five stages. I don't want to speak too soon. Yeah, this level's tough, dude. Let's wait, let's wait for the right moment. I want there to be one right there where we're going to be standing. Or maybe we do. I was hoping to blast that guy right away. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. All right, this is going to be tough here. All right, who do we have here? Maybe, maybe Bazooka Joe? Bazooka Joe save the day again? Nice. Maybe. Might be able to escape here. A narrow escape, but we made it. <laughs> Alright, let's bring in a rifleman here. Okay, e either one of these guys should be able to outrange this guy. The rifleman do decent against the yeah yeah check that out there you see that just because of the way that the the way that the lasers fire there nice done thank you oh yeah this this all right here this level is a big one somehow he got me though I'm not sure how Hmm. Uh, I'm, 
I'm not sure if we'll be able to escape. Crud, dude. All right, we officially lost a RoboCop, but we still have we, we still have a few RoboCops, so. Okay. Oh my gosh, I thought he was dead. Ho 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 ho! Oh yeah, the game's afoot now, okay. I'm not really sure. I did say earlier that the archers don't really do that that much damage. Oh, sounds like getting raid here again. Holy crud. That was fast, dude. Hey, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. I appreciate it. Necromancer Ellie, what's up, dude? How you doing? Welcome in all raiders as well. I appreciate the raid. Where are you streaming tonight? You'll see a lot of Sega Genesis games, Heavy Metal here, and Super Nintendo games. That's pretty much what we do. We give the Heavy Metal part here. Thank you again, Ellie. I appreciate that. Where are you streaming tonight? Renegade Johnny, welcome in. How you doing tonight? <laughs> Hey, thanks again, Ellie. I appreciate that. It's going good here. Thank you. It's going good. We're getting we're getting pretty deep into this game here. Yeah, this is going towards the end because what happens here is once you get to round five, is your continues no longer work. Playing a Pokemon card game. Nice Pokemon TCG. Nice. Okay. Okay. I think I think I saw you playing this the last time I stopped by your stream. Okay. Nice. How, how'd that go? Now, is this something that you're... Is that a competitive game? Do you play that game against other players, or...? Okay, look out here. We gotta bring this... Okay, we're playing some... Oh, gosh. Okay. Gotta watch the time here. Lost my archer there. It's okay. Playing some game ground here tonight. Yeah, this game was an arcade game. It's, it's pretty... Okay, what do we do here? Yeah, maybe maybe rifleman. I'm not sure we can make it to the exit though with one of these guys because he's he's gonna like track our movement, right? Maybe we can make it to the exit. Okay, wow, we did. Okay, let's bring in a barbarian. Then they have some super fast movement. But yeah, this game is interesting. It has kind of a lot of things going on to it. Yeah, the continues, uh, Renegade Johnny, the continues don't work. W once you get to round five, the continues stop working. They just don't let you continue anymore. Oh, it's a Game Boy Color one. It's it, it's more for uh, it's more for funsies. Gotcha, gotcha. But I do collect cards in in real life. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, like the Wizards of the Coast one. I haven't seen that in so many years. Gosh, okay, where is... Need to bring in Robocop here. Yeah, this game is really interesting. So essentially you have a myriad of different characters. It's like a baker's dozen and they all do radically different things. You kind of have to bring them out to do... to do the right thing in the right situation. And some of them, it doesn't really seem like they have really any use, like the Robocop here, for example. But once you get to round five, which is towards, this is apparently towards the end of the game. And the reason why I know that is because, like I said, there are continues in this game, but once you get to round five, they don't work anymore. And from what I gather, there are, there are 10 stages in, in each round, so for a total of 50 stages. 
And a lot of them go pretty quick. But yeah, some of them get kind of kind of complicated, so you have to figure it out and strategize. So it almost becomes, you know, not quite like a puzzle game, but some mild puzzle aspects to it. King's Knight is something like that, if if I recall, I have have different characters. Yeah, and they they basically like all, all have their different roles. This level right here, we haven't gotten past this level yet. Actually, maybe I should have used... Maybe I should have brought out the Rifleman first. Hmm. Yeah, this level's tough either way. So these green fences here... Those are going to insta-kill us. I mean, everything insta-kills us, but... Can't quite get that guy. Maybe we can get him from diagonal? Uh, oh, maybe. Yeah, he hit me. Uh, he, he came pretty close to hitting me, though. Nice. We, we did get him, though. Okay. So there is a way... So we take out the fence here. Okay, I need to watch out for this guy's fire though. And there's gonna be an ambush here. Hmm, okay. So this is about all that this guy can do here. Let's see here. Who, who else should we bring out here? Do we have one of the Bazooka Joes? We do. That guy went running. Yeah, he knew he was in trouble. Nice. Yeah, Bazooka Joe just takes out the fences. Nice, nice. Okay, yeah, Bazooka Joe did really well there. Okay, okay. All right, so that's a new personal best for the night right there. So there's 12 enemies, I don't see four. Okay. Do we, do we manage to save one of the Robocops? We did. Crud, okay. These guys are getting, these guys are going to get that aggressive on us. We're going to bring out a battle mage here. What are we going to run into here, though? It says, it, whoa. Oh, yes, yeah, so we do have to destroy these lasers, it looks like. Yeah, we have to ruin them. I see. I see what's going on here. Okay. I mean, that's clever. They try to trick you there. I'm sure they tricked plenty of people with it, too. I don't know. I was kind of seeing that, and I was thinking about, like, a never-ending story thing. Like, oh, they're just luring us down a down a ominous hallway? I don't know about this. <laughs> Yeah, the continues stop working. Yeah, yeah, on round five, the continues stop working. Whoa. Wow, this looks wild. Yeah, who do we even bring out here? I don't know. Maybe the Rangers? Yeah, the, the boomerangs are more powerful than they seem, dude. I was talking about that yesterday. I was surprised.
We have plenty of time here to make this happen. Crud, okay. That was the right one though, okay. That seemed like the right one. Let's go, let's find, yeah, let's go, let's bring out another ranger here. Yeah, especially around these corners. Careful there. Yeah, do you see how the boomerang did some amazing work there for us? Yeah, and it's doing some damage there too. Seems like two boomerang hits is destroying these guys. Crud, okay. Okay, we need to think fast here. Rifleman, okay. Yeah, actually, Rifleman might do pretty good here. Alright, I'm worried here because it says another enemy. Do we have to destroy what's in front of that exit? Oh my gosh, we do. Okay, we destroyed it. I right, definitely, yeah, definitely bring in a barbarian here with that swift movement. All right. Wow, that was that was insane. Do you like RPG games? What is going on, M M King? How you doing? Welcome in. Somewhat, yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not very good at them. I, I will say, but yeah, you know, I like some RPG games. Some people say Zelda is an RPG game. Yeah, but isn't Zelda more of an adventure game? Yeah, these yeah these spheres are extremely dangerous. All right, here we go. Yeah, Bazooka Joe here. Oh my gosh. Let's bring out the battle mages here. Oh my, holy crap, okay. Yeah, I don't know here. Can you, okay. So you can't, so those projectiles like home in on you, okay. more of those samurai guys. I don't know. Okay. Well, bring the demolitionists. How are you supposed to avoid those? Wow. Crazy. Okay. We're losing characters and fast here. Dude, yeah, how are you supposed to avoid those missiles? Dude, yeah, I, I don't understand, hmm. Yeah, they just home in on you. Can you destroy them? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I, I don't think so. But I'm confused because you can't even, you don't have time to make it up there.
Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm at a loss for words here. It's, it's only shooting those at us. And you can't get away. You just can't get away, so yeah, I don't know. Blew him up at least. That was insane, dude. Oh, we just beat the game? It's only asking for our initials. We, we, we had a few characters left. Oh my gosh, man. That, that, if we just beat the game, holy crap. <laughs> the skin of our teeth there, dude. I didn't even... I was just acting on a whim if we actually managed to do this. Yeah, did we just get it? <laughs> I think so, GG's there. A malfunction has been found in the system. The system will be temporarily shut down. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we beat it. Nice. Yeah, so you like pretty much have to once you see that game. Nice, dude. Yeah, this game is cool. Nice. That's a that's a good way to end it there. Yeah, with, 30, with 33 seconds left and with what? It was just, yeah, throwing <laughs> throwing bodies as the last boss worked? No, dude. I mean, I wasn't trying to do that, dude. Just those, those homing missiles. What were you even supposed to do there? Hey, there's Robocop right there. Putting in some serious work. Defeating the dragon. <laughs> nice for the GG's there, Jar Grill, Money Matt. Yeah, Cloud Strife, Neemlex, Cyber. Yeah, what? Yeah, there he is. Yeah, Robocop, dude. Yeah, Robocop came into big play there in the in round five. And like I said, that's pretty much a force one CC on that one, dude, because you don't want to use any continues before you make it to round five because you're just going to lose all your characters. Yeah, we clear it there. Nice. Awesome. That was weird because actually the, it didn't seem like actually the staff list was that long. How hilarious is that? Nowadays, the staff list is just like hundreds of people, right? <laughs>